Oh, welcome. So you were looking for a story. Maybe one about friendship, fairies, fantasy, some escapism. <laughs> I might have one for you. It might even become your favorite one. On the edge of the forest, I grew up with my parents in a poor village. Every year we would send young people to another world to learn independence and strength. Today I turned 18, which meant it was time to leave the village. I said goodbye to my family and entered an unknown world full of adventure, danger and new experiences. I was very excited about this new journey. Time for a new adventure. I am so excited. The first task is to chop down a tree. It's a boring task, but very important to survive. The first night will be the most difficult because I had no idea what kind of monsters live in this world. Gladly, my parents taught me what to do, so I made my way underground to collect as many important resources as possible. When I came back to the surface, I realized what a big mistake I had made. Oh no, it's already dark. What are those? Don't panic, Ari, don't panic. It was not long before they attacked me. One shot at me with arrows, but I managed to defeat him and the other monsters with my sword. I need to find a safe place to pass the night. Maybe I can find a cave or build one myself. Surrounded by the darkness and the sounds of the night, I remembered how my parents had taught me to build a bed out of wool and wood. So I decided to leave my safe cave hoping to find some sheep. On the way back to the cave, two spiders attacked me and I was lucky to escape. Can this night please be over? I think I'm safe for now. Finally, the day has dawned. I was very lucky last night. Time to take care of my wounds and eat. With this bed, I can skip the night from now on. No more monsters, at least for now. After the first night, my new life became easier. I grew wheat to feed myself and smelted iron for tools and armor. I felt very well prepared for this new world. Time to mine more resources. Diamonds! I knew that they could be found in this world as well. They exist in every world and they are very valuable. And I found four of them at once. I am so lucky. I will immediately build myself a diamond pickaxe. It will make mining easier for me. I was so happy that I could complete my armor. Now I am protected against monsters. A food source is very important, so I caught chickens and put them in a small pen. I also got my newly grown wheat to attract some cows. I've been in this new world for a couple of days now, but it feels like forever. I was so excited when I got here that I didn't think about how hard it would be to start over. It's been really tough, but I'm glad that I have food and water so far. I know that the next important task is to build a house so that I feel safe and comfortable while exploring. That's why I set off on a quest to collect all the materials needed to build myself a cozy little hut. For some resources, I had to travel a long way because there were a lot of planes around me. But it was worth it. I found a beautiful place surrounded by many flowers and I got all materials needed. I can already imagine how the house would look like here. I can't wait to get started.
The house is finished, and I am in love. I built a simple cottage with granite, oak wood, and green wool, and these colors fit so well. In front, I made myself a small porch, where I can sit and enjoy the peace and quiet. The inside is still empty, because I ran out of blocks for the interior. So sadly, I can't move in at the moment. My animals don't have room here either. So before I can move all my stuff here, I need more chests and decorations. A cozy interior that fits this house. What was that? That scared me so much. It made me afraid and curious at the same time, so I followed the whisper. At the end of the forest, I found a huge hill where a large tree could be seen through the mist. Something looked strange about it. What world have I ended up in here? I have to admit, I'm a bit scared. By the time I climbed the hill, it was already dark and I had trouble making out anything. This place looks so scary. The first thing I noticed was a broken portal and the barren grey ground surrounded by dead trees. All of these trees seem to be dead. But why? What happened here? I looked around for a while, but had to hurry to get home and sleep. I'm not sure what the right thing to do is, but I know I want to help these trees in nature. It hurts me to see the damage that has been done. So I will go on a mission to heal nature and make it look beautiful again. I collected a lot of grass, saplings and bone meal. Off to the tree to help it heal. It looks a bit friendlier during the day. But it's still sad to see nature like this. I wonder what happened to make the trees die. It still looks impressive and scary. I will first take care of the dead trees surrounding the big tree and replace them with new healthy trees. I can't replace the big tree, but maybe it will help when the environment blooms again. This was the last tree, time to take care of the crown. I can't believe it, I'm finally done. Now I can plant new trees and make the soil bloom. I have to say, this is my absolute favorite part. It already looks so much better. I am completely finished and it looks beautiful. The leaves are green again, the stems are healthy. The soil is fertile again and blossoms with many colorful flowers. Even a few bees have settled here. That makes me so happy. They are so cute. I really hope that this will help the giant tree to recover. And maybe more animals will settle here. What was that? It sounded like a door lock. Is that a door? How did a door get there? It wasn't there earlier, I'm sure. A tree stamp with a book? It looks overgrown. We've been told forever we were not meant together. My folks shine started to grieve, once humans stopped to believe. Without our magic, sooner or later we can keep healing our nature. What does that mean? It's too much for me right now. I... I have to get out of here. I can't handle it right now. I still have goosebumps. 
I have never seen anything like yesterday, and there have never been any reports of anything like that in my village. Do fairies really exist? Is there also magic? I need to distract myself for a while. There's a lot to do. The animals have to be fed, and the plants watered and replanted. I finished all the tasks, but I can't get the book out of my head. I need to go back and look at it again. I feel a little better and I'm ready to deal with the puzzle. We've been told forever we were not meant together. My fox shine started to grieve once humans stopped to believe. Without our magic, sooner or later, we can't keep healing our nature. That fairies live here and lost their magic and... So nature died? Oh, there's more. To regain my shine, cure my frown, in the mossy caves you will find my crown. So there is a cure and I can find it in the mossy caves. But I've never heard of mossy caves. Hmm. I know there are villagers in every world, so maybe I can find one and ask the villagers. It took me a while, but I finally found a village between these acacia trees. I hope the villagers will talk to me. Otherwise, I have something with me to bribe them. <laughs> it seems that this village has guards. No villager here. Not here either. Here are some. Hello. Can you help me please? Hello. Excuse me, would you give me information in exchange for this bread? What are mossy caves? How can I find them? How can I recognize an azalea tree? Thank you so much, here's your bread. I need to find an azalea tree, a tree with pink flowers on the leaves. Hopefully they are not too hard to find. Time for a new adventure. Oh my gosh, I found pumpkins! They are so delicious. I know what I'm going to eat today. I think I got lucky again. A tree with pink blossoms. That was faster than I thought. It's the only azalea tree around. Then I'll start digging underground. Here's a promising cave. Let's see what's here. This is definitely a lush cave like the villager described. Oh, he's a cute creature. Where could the cure be? It looks so beautiful. A yellow flower? It's so pretty. It looks so special. I've never seen such a beautiful flower. I will take it with me. It's called Sun Crown. The crown is the cure. I found the cure. Time to go home and bring this cure to the tree. Luckily, the way home is not so long. Hello chicken and cows, I am back! I'm going to take a short break and then make my way to the tree. I can't wait! <laughs>